Thanks so much for joining us today and welcome back to WAMS webinar Wednesdays. My name is Ashley Locke, Marketing Manager at WAMS, and today we will discuss cybersecurity insurance with Andy Liverman Anderson, CEO, and Carly Rogers, Channel Manager from DataStream, a leading provider of comprehensive cybersecurity insurance solutions for small to mid-sized businesses that work directly with technology partners like WAMS. For any of you unfamiliar, I'll share a little about us. We've been around since 1974. We work with small businesses and law firms, and we do specialize in IT for the legal industry. We keep our agreements friendly and always approach contracts with a win-win philosophy. Our team is comprised of experts with certifications in every platform we work with. And as always, WAMS is dedicated to the success of our clients. We measure our success by how well we take care of our clients. Please email any questions to info at whamsinc.com and we will get back to you after the presentation. With that, I'll hand it off to Andy. Um, Ashley, first off, thank you so much for having Carly and I on. Um, cyber insurance is a topic that seems to be coming up um, for so many businesses of every size um, as they are trying to, to combat the risks that are facing their business um, with different attacks happening every day. It's, it's can be dizzyingly confusing though. And so um, we're, we're here to kind of help folks on, on this short webinar, kind of understand some of the basics as well as anytime if they have questions, uh, wanna, wanna dig in on the details of a policy that they may have already, or as they're sort of looking to get, um, to get a policy that they've never had it. Um, they can find us right on our website, datastreaminsurance.com, or they can email me directly, Andy at datastreaminsurance.com. Um, so kind of rough agenda for today's call. First, we'll go, you know, why get, why get cyber insurance? Why we in particular may be a great resource for you um, as you're thinking about getting coverage. And then um, any questions, next steps, um, you know, we may, um, we may touch on a few of those. But first, I'll hand it off to Carly, um, who knows the story really well of um, why you may want to consider getting cyber insurance. Yes, absolutely. Thanks, Ashley. Thanks, Andy. I'm just going to start with some high level statistics. We see the colonial pipelines of the world making the headlines. However, we see a big problem being that 68% of small businesses experienced some sort of cyber attack last year and the average cost for a breach being, you know, six figures and, and easily ranging into the seven figures. The big number we see on this one is that of those who experience a successful cyber attack, 25% ended up having to file for bankruptcy, which is a devastating number. But fortunately, cyber insurance is actually pretty broad and almost 90% said that it did cover their losses in the event of needing it. And um, about 87% were happy that they had it in, in the event of needing it. It's that proverbial parachute, right? So we cover your your business, your first party liability, as well as the businesses that you work with, which would be considered your third party liability. And getting a little bit into the types of tax that are gonna be covered is your basic data breach, the cost of response and remediation, legal fees, PR if necessary, things of that nature, as well as in the event of business interruption, um, lost revenue, cost of being down, things like that. And cyber extortion, that pesky ransomware, um, paying that ransom itself if need be. We say that every small to medium sized business should have a base coverage of about a million dollars because as you can see, the cost of a breach can range well over that pretty quickly. And the actual, the actual average cost being, you know, around a thousand dollars on the low end and seven thousand on the higher end, kind of depending on the size and the industry that the company works in. And that's annually per million. And we really think that the most effective cyber risk program looks a little bit like this barbell strategy where you have 90 plus percent of your inv investment in the cybersecurity technology and compliance side of things, and your sub 10% of your investment in insurance protecting you against those catastrophic incidents. Yeah, so I think, you know, we really built um, data stream for the channel, right? We, we're, we're a little bit unique in that we work um, exclusively with pre-vetted MSPs and bars. Um, to make sure that the insurance that you're buying really um, matches up um, directly with the technology strategy that most are implementing and, and really work, making sure that um, the two are working in parallel. And, you know, when we built this business, we, we thought it was sort of crazy that this wasn't um, how things were operating because it was just so clear the benefit that companies um, 
insurance firms and MSPs and other technology players had in collaborating together. You know, we're all working to really address the the risk um, of cyber attack um, and to make sure that that we reduce that as much as possible. And then when it does happen, make sure that companies really survive that. Um, and unfortunately, what we were seeing from the insurance industry wasn't necessarily that. I, you know, we were really seeing cyber insurance and particularly um, a lot of the brokerage community kind of outside of the conversation that was happening between companies um, and MSPs and other technology players, right? They, it was this very sort of siloed approach. Um, and so, you know, for, for someone who's trying to deal with these new, new types of risks um, that's really complicated, you can often end up, you know, working with a non-expert if you're working with kind of a, not a specialist like us. Um, so you don't end up getting the, the immediate help that you need. Um, you don't, um, you don't get to leverage the tools um, that your MSP is using to really address these, these risks, supposed to understand the risk and deal with it. And, and so you often can end up with a much less comprehensive solution. So you don't, um, you, don't, you, you don't have folks that are really helping to avoid the breach. Um, you don't have resources to immediately start to address and fix those breaches and the, and the outfall um, of those types of incidents. And so you're not recovering as quickly. Um, and so, you know, as we, as we think about um, how we're maybe a little bit different and how we, we can be particularly helpful for you um, uh, as you're thinking about how to, how to purchase cyber um, insurance, um, there's sort of like six reasons that make us, make us different. Um, so the first being, you know, it, it really comes down to metrics, um, coverage, um, pre-breach uh, and breach response as well as kind of leaning on those cyber tools. And lastly, you know, this, this distribution model we have that, that really works with your local brokers. So, you know, we, we talk about metrics and, and, you know, as our name would suggest at our core, we really are a data science company. And so trying to understand cyber risk, um, trying to understand uh, what, what is driving the likelihood um, in insurance world, that's called the frequency um, of, of having an attack as well as the cost of an attack if it happens. And so, you know, we, we came up with some tools to help um, help folks understand that. And so you see here some some screenshots from our cyber risk estimation tool where we estimate what's, how likely are the tools that you're using going to stop an attack or mitigate an attack and how expensive could it potentially be if you do have an attack. And so these tools help any business owner, you know, they don't need to necessarily be an expert in cyber. cyber. They can understand these numbers in, in a few, um, you know, in a few minutes and sort of realize, okay, what am I investing in here? How am I going to address this? Um, address this challenge. You know, at, we, we're we're backed by some of the largest um, carriers um, in the in the world. Um, we are a broker, so we can actually offer um, cyber coverage from a number of different carriers. We have a um, a uniquely um, close relationship with Axis Capital. They're one of the the largest um, and most well regarded commercial carriers in the world, um, and they've got billions of dollars in coverage. So. You know, a million dollars, not a fun day for um, any company if they lose that, but it's not going to break Axis's bank or any of the big carriers that we work with. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about how you address these issues before the breach, um, and we really dig in on this with our with our partners, both MSPs um, as well as end customers, um, really trying to do um, comprehensive risk analysis, understand what's driving these incidents, make sure that you're prepared, um, and, and analyze and understand what you, you've done already um, that makes... Uh, and the sort of unique challenges that you may face. Um, you know, in addition to kind of doing things before a breach, we're also um, well aligned and and um, and set up to deal with after the breach. As an expert firm, we make sure that you um, that your MSP is is set up to to deal with these types of incidents um, and and get you really fast resolution. We also have an incredible network of of specialist incident response firms, so they can literally respond in a matter of minutes. Um, you know, that, that, that's a mix of breach coaches, that's law firms, you know, always the first call um, so that you go under attorney client privileges, commuter forensic services, um, and, uh, and also the, the bricking coverage uh, to make sure that if you need to replace all your stuff, um, that happens. Um, and then, you know, it, it all revolves around this sort of um, local distribution and making sure that we've got, um, you know, you, you, we've integrated your MSP into this ecosystem. Um, you know, we, we, we lean on the tools that you have in place and that your MSP has put in place, and that gives us a huge leg up in terms of understanding um, what you've done uh, with your cybersecurity tools. And so, you know, how does it compare? Um, you know, I think we, we've sort of looked at ourselves versus almost everybody else in the ecosystem, and we just think it's, 
it's a totally different um, mousetrap relative to everybody else. And so, you know, you've got, you know, I, I think it's, it's an amazing way to think about cyber risk um, and super helpful for the customers and the partners that we work with. So if you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You've got our, right at our website, datastreaminsurance.com, or you can just reach me directly, um, Andy at datastreaminsurance.com or Carly, Carly at datastreaminsurance.com. Tried to keep our, our emails really simple. So thanks again for your time. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, we're, we're here to help. Thank you so much, Carly and Andy, for giving us a fantastic, informative presentation today. Thank you all for joining WAMS today as well. Email us with any questions, and we will see you next time.